Consultative Forum member Courtney Mizik is responding to rumors of calls for his resignation by forum members and the governor. It was during an interview with the local media house where Mizik expressed disappointment with the forum's decision to hold a closed session Wednesday, September 22nd, after a huge protest. Yesterday, um, I had an appointment with the governor from about a week ago concerning the matters of the farm and queue. And when I got into Grand Turk, I heard it on Blaze also. Because someone called me and told me to turn the radio and they heard my name mentioned on, on Blaze concerning the governor. Um, summons me into Grand Turk, me to resign because of something, but the chair didn't want, was legitimate, didn't want to work with me as long as I'm on the farm. And I told them I didn't know anything about that because I didn't have any such conversation um, with, with, with the governor. So um, two o'clock I had an appointment with the governor, I got to the office and we discussed with the farm, the PS, and then we discussed concerning the matters of the farm. And afterwards, the meeting was finished, the governor told me he wanted to see me concerning um, some matters that I'm um, concerned about an interview with me, but I'm um, PTV on Friday. And he said that some of the members were uh, um, upset about what I had to say. And I should call um, Ms. Lillian Mizik um, concerning what went on on Friday. I told him yes, I was going to call Ms. Mizik, but thinking about it after I left his office, I said there's no need for me to call Ms. Mizik because if she had a problem with what I said, because I did not call anybody's name. And if she had a problem with what I say, all she had to do was call me. Instead of going to the head of state, she should have come and called me. According to Mizik, what he said in that interview with PTV reflect his views on the September 22nd demonstration and the forum's decision to have a closed session after that incident. The whole thing about what went on um, on Tuesday at the airport there with the governor, seeing that the temperature at the time was high in the country, we decided on that, they decided on that evening, because more than me one was upset about that they didn't have the open session on Wednesday. We figured as if what should have been done that saying that what went on Tuesday at the airport, there was the governor, Ms. Kate Sullivan, we should have still gone on the air to show um, the people in the country that they are still a calm, but yet we still could debate the constitutional issues instead of going behind closed doors because a lot of people in the country was of the opinion that we gone behind closed doors to vote for that trial by George Alone Bill, which we were up again because at the same time it was the minister who said that, but the constitutive forum along with the, um, the advisory council, they did agree for, the forum, for that and as it, that was part of the reason um, for us wanted um, the three, about three of us who wanted but somebody was the three of us that I can um, uh, that I can um, vote uh, that I can vow for that wanted to have the um, the, the open um, session and because we feel at like the temperature at that time it should have been open to uh, um, take some of the doubts and the fears out of the mind of the people that was in the country and I think but that would have been with damage control with try to control things that were going on in the country. Mizek said there is no truth to him being forced to resign as forum member. Referring to a press release by forum chair Lillian Mizek, Courtney Mizek said he believes the forum chair is taking the issue personal. I believe some want, want me to resign, and, but as I say, we had no such conversation with me and with no resignation. No more. He said that I need to, to speak to Ms. Mizek. And this morning I learned of her with her press release concerning Courtney Mizek. And as I say, when I went to WPTV, I didn't make mention of any member in particular. And if for her to get on the, um, the, 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 the to do her press uh, release concerning Courtney Music and, and talking about setting Rocket Street, I wonder what record that she's trying to set straight. Because I am of the opinion she's trying to take this thing personal. And trust me, I am not going to go down that path. Now in that press release from chair of the consultative forum, Lillian Mizek, she stated, quote, I wish to set the record straight with reference to the interview with member of the forum, Mr. Courtney Mizek, which was televised on PTV 8 on Friday, September 24th. In that interview, he criticized the fact that there was a closed meeting, which the forum held with constitutional and electoral reform advisor Kate Sullivan. I wish to state that closed meetings are not uncommon for the consultative forum. We have held them before, and Mr. Courtney Mizek participated in those meetings. We hold closed sessions to inform members on matters, 
and clarify issues before we debate them in public. The meeting on Wednesday, September 22nd, was one such meeting. It is unfortunate that the member did not capitalize on the facility available to him to share his concerns with his colleagues. Notwithstanding the faux pas, the consultative forum continues to play an important role in shaping the development process in our country, and members, through their full and joint participation, can help put our country on the second footing all Turks and Caicos Islanders desire." End quote. Courtney Mizek, forum member, said the press release is the chair's opinion. That's her opinion. And as I say, I read the press release, as she, you know, she's stating that, or oh, like I am against closed session. I am not against closed session. And I will stick to my point and to the gun where I said that they only was talking about that particular day where that session should have, because it was supposed to be an open session, it should have remained an open session there for the people in the Turks and Caicos to hear us debating because, as I say, I chaired the meeting there in North Caicos there, but Ms. Solomon, when you chair a meeting, you do not get involved with um, the meeting. You already chaired to be able to, um, when there's an argument or anything, you try to keep um, the meeting under your control. And I feel as it was our time for our members time to debate the matter over the years and allow the people in the Jackson and Caicos Island to hear what we have to say concerning each recommendation that Ms. Sullivan had to made in her uh, constitutional review. We asked Mizik how will this affect his relationship with forum members. I'll put it this way and a few people in this country who know me, I am a person, I say what I mean and I mean what I say and when it reaches to me but my point of view and thing I, I say what I have to say, express myself, and if you're upset with me, well, then you get upset. But to say for me, holding you in my heart personally, I am not a refrigerator, I'm a human being. And God put us here for us to love one another, and we should have had that place in our heart to love. Because if she had said something, and I dislike it, trust me, I take it like how I want to take it. But I, as I say, I did not call nobody name. And for somebody to come single out my name, well, that's her point of view. Mizik ended by saying that this is a democracy, and with the democracy, he's free to say what he wants to say as long as he's not offensive. I, whatever I have to say, I look you in your eye and I say what I have to say. I don't need to be going to no governor, and I don't need to be coming to no TV station if I got something personal. When I go to the TV station or the governor, it's just something that concerns the whole nation. But if I got a personal problem with any one of those foreign members, I will wait until we get, get in private session and say what I have to say. What I had to say, I believe it was a general statement. So beat me for that. For WIV4 News, I'm Takara Bain.